Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech, and welcome to the Breaking Contest, where we are going to be testing all kinds of different breaking mechanisms, and we've got our contestants here today, where we've got Jack, we've got Copturn, we've got Mr. Fonts, Nero, Camelot, and Alice, that's right, and we're going to be testing various, I think we have seven different things to test we'll have to see because alice is doing two is that correct yeah i'll be doing mine and jason since his power's out apparently let's go and take a look at the test track and see how this is going to work so contestants will start off by placing their entries up here on this series of tracks and they can work on them up here they can kind of finish them off once they're ready to be shown, they will be pushed along to this starting point. When they're ready, the gate will be lifted and they will attempt to traverse the track <laughs> and stop at these rope by plates down here. Once they've stopped here, assuming they actually can stop here, weights will be added to their system until they can't stop anymore. Scores will be given based on their ability to stop at the rope eye plates, as well as how much weight their braking system can actually manage to hold before plummeting down the hill, off the ramp, and into the water. <laughs> Thank you for the sound effects. Okay, so I see, <laughs> this is quite the uh, monster you've got here. Well, it works. Yeah, no, that's great. Okay, so can you explain to us how this works? Okay, so it's got these arms here with torches on them, which are the stopping. I don't know why torches work the best; they just do. Interesting. But uh, you can lift. You lift it up using that. Don't worry about the glitching. Okay. But you lift it up, and you can release it with a lockable thing there. Okay. And it'll, and it'll just release very quickly. All right. And yeah, All right. and it just works. Well, let's let's take a look. Let's see how well it just works. All right. So break. <laughs> we've we've broken the uh, the gate already. That's excellent. Well, remove the gate. Uh. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's give it a try. So you know the goal yep. is to try and stop it at the rope eye plates. Oh, if my rubber banding will let me. Oh, where am I? And ah. into the water it goes. <laughs> to be that, fair on that one though. Yeah. Uh, it didn't get to deploy. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. that was more a server issue than anything else, I think. So why don't you give that another try? And I feel like these rope eyes should have an actual rope between them. There we go. Now we can see exactly where they should stop. Ooh. Wow. Well done. That stopped great. Okay. So, I mean, considering how fast that was going when it actually got to the rope and when you triggered it, I'm impressed. So now the question is, how well is it going to hold if we start adding weight to it? There we go. So that's 500 Ooh. weights in there. Ooh. And it definitely was too much for it. And off into the water. There we go. <laughs> oh, this looks like it's just asking for problems right here. But it kind of looks amazing. All right. Alice, this is yours? Mm-hmm. This this looks really amazing. I like this. And it's on a pump cart, so it goes at the front of the train. Oh, nice. Okay, so tell me how this works. So basically, you uh, there's like a, a second floating grid center, as you can see, with all the weights on it. Okay. And you attach the rope whenever you're ready to, to leave. You attach the rope to uh, a rope by plate in the center, the drum. And, of course, you have to make sure that the locking catch block is locked, which you can reach from the ground. Um, 
And then when you're ready to leave, you just wind it up, which lifts all the weights off the ground and holds it there. And then okay. you can uh, operate the pump part as normal. Well, let's see this thing in action. Can you stop it at the robot plates down there? Um, I can try. All right, here it goes. <laughs> wow, that stopped really well. Was that intentionally where you stopped? Yeah, because yeah. like, I can't see it. Oh, okay. When see if I'm you can get it the all the way to the rope. All right, hold on. There you go, stop. Only win. There you go, okay. That stopped pretty fast once you actually dropped the, the weights there. That, that's impressive. So let's see, how many weights can it hold? Uh, we're at a hundred and it's moving a bit. Oh, yep. Can it stop itself? Oh, it might actually be able to. Alright, it's stopped at a hundred. Give it a hundred and fifty. hundred and fifty. Slowly. Yeah, it's having trouble at 150. And we're starting to get to the point where it's actually a flat, too. Yes, uh, I have two springs, and they kind of push these forks down, so it should have pretty good grip on the ground. Yeah, this looks like it would work really well. This is a pretty simple idea. You just basically crank it up, and then when you're ready, you release the locking catch block, and it pushes down into the ground with these uh, torsion springs. Yeah? Yeah. Very cool. All right, well, let's see it in action. Can it fit through? <laughs> Good point. Uh, yes, yes, it will fit through, just barely. <laughs> just shove it a little bit. That's <laughs> That works. That works. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and start adding some weight to this and see how much it can take. <laughs> Five, just go straight to 500. What? Why don't that was we? a total hey. accident. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so here's 25. And 25 is already pushing it. All right, well, we're going to call that... Uh, Splash zero. down. <laughs> <laughs> As it does a nice little dance into the water. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who is this? Whoa! What? <laughs> he ran over onto the finished rails. Ah, okay. Can you have that ready to go soon, Jack? Ah, uh, that I'll call that a soon. Uh, it's cosmic design. Oh, this is Cosmic's design, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I only did a little decorations. Very nice. This is literally just drop a weight behind and set up. Actually, he has redesigned the two in front. We found out it worked better. It, oh, it works better if you put it in front. Oh, interesting. Okay. And the nice thing about being on a handcart. Ah. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think there's a there's a problem with this design. It's gonna go catch it beneath it. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it's actually trying to run over its own block. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I like the simplicity of the design. Now the question is, how much weight can it hold? Don't know. Cosmic just showed me and asked me to show it for him. So it can't actually hold the weight of a single cart without any weights in it. However, I did notice, I did notice this skull over here is catching on, on the uh, hill on the side. Yeah. Does that so, count? Like, I don't... Oh! Oh, apparently not. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely okay. Cosmic's design, you can tell. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion. Yep. Next. Good try, Cosmic. Good try. Good try. All right, so this is Jason's design. Oh, I see it even has a sign on it that says Jason. That's great. But it's being shown by Alice. Where Jason lives is completely, like, the wind has knocked out all power and all that kind of thing. So Alice has been so kind as to show off his design. So the idea is that you're going to be going uphill on a train. So it's designed to drag continuously going, like, in this direction. Oh, but so, not in the other direction. I see. Yeah. So, like, if it starts rolling backwards, it's stop it automatically. Oh, that's Is interesting. Okay. I kind of want to, once we get it, can we get it stopped at the ropes and then we can test that mechanism? So then, in theory, I should be able to attach to this and pull. And it easily pulls uphill. But when I let go, it stops itself. Very nice. Well, let's test out some weights. It's already got a certain amount of weight in it. It's got 50? 100. 100, okay. So let's start throwing in more weight and see what happens. Oh, oh, let's stop there for a second. Looks like 100 is overriding it. <laughs> and it's it didn't even go off. That that's pretty impressive. Okay, is this it right here? Is this what I'm looking at? Uh, yeah. Um. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. It's this one here. This rope should be tied a bit, tightened a bit, so we'd uh, we'd string uh, it up backwards, and it should close automatically. Oh, I see. So it's a one-way uh, gate, and you come. Oh, sorry. You come from this way, it pushes up, and then closes at the end of the train. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't work that good, but uh, it should be locked and in place uh, in the upwards position. It just waits. No, it doesn't want to go forward. There. Okay, so can you get it to stop at the... Uh... Um, maybe. I don't know. I think I can... <laughs> I reached the catch block in, in time, but no, I cannot. <laughs> I'm more That's okay. pushing the car than anything, so... At least we're going to get a dramatic crash out of this. Oh, yeah. unless somebody slows it down. <laughs> and off it goes. <laughs> well, it was a valiant Sorry. try. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see how this works. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. So if you're, if you want, you can place that at the bottom of the hill, and we can drag it up, and then just see if you can go right past the ropes up there and let go, and we'll see how far it rolls. Uh oh, it's not. Oh, it caught. It tried to catch. Oh, well, I mean, it stopped. I think the mechanism's not quite doing what you want it to do. Oh! There we go. There we go. Okay, we had to give it a little bit of help, <laughs> but I think it's working. So somebody want to put that card on here? There we go. And let's see what it can hold. 25, 50, 75, and I think that that's about all it can do. Nero, things went badly. Let's test it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. How much can it hold? Oh, it holds a lot until it fades out. That's too bad. Yeah. Mr. Fonts, we're going to give you another try at this for two reasons. One is yours also works in the reverse direction, and we kind of threw in way too much weight right away, so that wasn't entirely fair. So let's give this a try. Yeah, so I'll drag it up. Yep. Okay, let's see how much this guy can hold. But this time we're going to go 25 at a time. 50, 75, 100, 
Holy cow. 125? 150? Okay, stop. Ooh. That was impressive. So 350 was what finally made that thing move. And it still did not move very fast. Yeah. I am impressed. I am very impressed. So if somebody wants to throw some weights on there, let's see what it can do. All right, looks like 25. I think in a real world situation, that would probably work really well. But as we all know, medieval engineers physics, not so much real world. Okay, so let's start the judging. First, we have Jason's entry presented by Alice, which was a, a nice elegant design that is designed to be one way and was able to hold a hundred weights behind it. I like it. I like it a lot. I think trying to build this and make sure it fits through a tunnel might be a problem, but still, I like it. I, I think the the design of actually lifting the train off the tracks is great. I think it's really also, cool. Maybe we should specify the fact that the, the uh, reverse engineer design from the picture he's... That, that is true. You you may not have gotten it perfect, but I think you did a good job, and I think that it's it, it's a good design. It is. So I'm going to move on to the next one right down here, which is Cosmics, written white on white. That's that's great. Um, which by by far is the most simple design. I mean, honestly, I could probably build this while trying to stop a train. It's so quick, so easy. You just kind of grab a hold, drop it there, and that's great. Unfortunately, it doesn't hold a lot of weight. That That's the one drawback to that one. And, of course, it does have a tendency to make things explode because it was designed by Cosmic. Cop trains break-ish. <laughs> that's great. Um, this one is another one of those simple designs, and I like simple designs. They're easy to build, they don't cost a lot, um, and there's less to go wrong. And this is, a, this is another one of those that is designed to not go backward, and I like this one a lot. Um, how much was this one able to hold? I can't remember. Not, not a ton, if I remember correctly, but better than Cosmics. And then over here, we've got Nero's Rope Engine, which was able to hold 25. I think this is one of the cooler designs. I just, I really like the idea. Unfortunately, Medieval Engineers' physics doesn't. So, <laughs> uh, it, it, that was an unfortunate one. I was really hoping to see that one do well. <laughs> and then, of course, we've got the, uh, yeah, playing is trying to make it fly. <laughs> so. It becomes an engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then we've got Camelots over here that, uh, well, it's an entry. Next. <laughs> I'm sorry. So bad. No, no, I did like this part. Yeah, this one too. Um, this, this is good because the nice thing about this is if the train passes and the spring pulls it back and that works properly, it's going to be able to hold basically an infinite amount of weight because it's physically attached to the ground. However, that wasn't what the breaking contest was about. That's so, true. but that was a good idea. I did like that idea. And then over here, we've got Alice's design, which is by far the most complicated one, but I do love the engineering idea of just setting everything down. You're also one of the few that included the hand card as part of the design. Um, it does also have a problem going because sometimes it kind of snags and that kind of thing, which is unfortunate because I, I, I do like this design as well. And then and then we have Mr. Fonts, which I think we have to agree that this one is, at least in one or two categories, the winner. Not only was it able to hold 350 blocks, um, 
but it comes to an almost immediate stop when released. And when it's going uphill, it doesn't go downhill. Like, it completely stops. The ingenious idea of using torches to grab on, thats I think that's also very cool. You guys were all chosen to be part of this contest because I saw potential in your designs to begin with. So I've got a key for each and every one of you. But, Mr. Fonts, you can choose two. You're going to get an extra key because that was a really impressive design. One of the things I love about my channel is that people that love engineering tend to be the ones that watch my channel, which also means they tend to also be good at engineering as themselves. And it was fun to see all the different approaches, this vastly different approaches to the same problem. Everything from lifting the, tr the train off the tracks, adding weights, digging in. I also wanted to thank Destiny for loaning us this server to and... Alice for helping out with setting everything up and creating the test track. The two of them worked really hard on it. Uh, Kitten, thank you for joining me and helping out with moderation. And thank you for all of you that are watching. I really appreciate it. If, if it wasn't for my viewers, I wouldn't have a channel. So I really appreciate that. And keep looking out for contests in the future. I'd love to see everybody be able to join one. Come back for the next episode, and I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. This is the outro, outro, outro. We're doing no. the outro, outro, outro. <laughs> no outro. Nope, that was good. This is where the song would go, but it's not anymore. <laughs> oh, I think I'm actually going to put that in.